Well, hello everyone and welcome back to Foundation. I hope you're all well. Just admiring the absolute beauty through our first housing estate here. I absolutely love it. Looks so good. But welcome back guys. I hope you're all well. Now, if you remember in the last episode then we did do a bit of a tidy up. We've purchased a couple of tiles as well. So we've got room over here. Loads of room over here now where we're starting to get ready with prospecting. And we've also found a marble zone there. So this is going to be iron production, hopefully. We're just prospecting this now to get more iron. We also set up this as the main logging camp area. So if I just show you my zoning, this is a main logging station here. We've cleared all the trees here. We've got more sheep in. And uh, we're kind of just rocking with that at the moment. So at the moment, we've got the wall. We also have soldiers that have just got back with some weapons, some tools, and some coins. Monastery is well underway as well, so that's going to be good as our next step. And we've also started to change the barracks here. So we've got a new section going on. I'm hoping we can start healing them up because I was reading it and it looks like that's what we need to do to get these guys okay. What you can do also is promote the soldiers. I haven't looked into this, so I'm going to go into mandates here and I'm going to see if thought by job. That's fine. So where are my soldiers? Ah, promote to citizen. Now this makes sense. A hundred citizens. Villagers needs must be have met once for eligibility. Okay, promote to citizen. I am not messing with citizens and then promote to soldier. There's no one ready yet in the soldiers then that can be promoted. I was just looking, we would have hit that wheat task from the last episode as well based on this, so that's unfortunate. But it is what it is. We did we did deflect, and that's fine. Monastery is almost there, and we're still working on getting more people in. What have we got over here? I'm going to up the charcoal burners now. We are going to be soon going to have to grab more woodcutters. Now, I think backspace does remove that. At the moment, we've got the four and two planters, so I think we're okay on that. We're still producing a lot of planks as well, so we might even be able to slow that one down. We're not building enough to warrant that many, so we'll bring one person out of there. All right, it looks like we can satisfy our monastery stuff here. So build a monastery that has nun dorms and monk dorms, so we're going to need two here. We're going to go for monk dorms firstly, so we're going to get some kind of... Let's go for... Rustic Quarters Major. Let's go Minor. We don't want to go too big here. I do want to rotate it maybe that way. So we're going to have the Monk's Quarters there. There we go. We officially have our Monastery then. So Weekly Attendance. This is the same as basically having a church, I believe. We've only got one Monk at the moment. We are going to get the Nuns and stuff in when we can. This should help on this tree here. So the Splendor always helps on this. I think we need to go get the Labor Splendor up a bit. So, so non-exclusive penalty is 11 so we have a bad penalty for not just sticking to them i think it's the same for all of them so if we go into kingdom as well they're not happy about that and i think the clergy will also be the same so what you need to do that influence will change but we'll get an increase on these guys when when we kind of pick up the the splendor and decorations of those and there it is the bailiff has found an iron deposit so that is official we will be grabbing this territory now Starting to cost us a fair bit, but that's fine. And then what that does mean is we can go, boom, we're going to build on the iron deposit. So we're going to go iron quarry. We're going to attach that one. And then we're going to have a crane. I'm not sure what the crane's for, but we're going to build this out. I'll leave enough room for the minerals here as well. What else do we have? A cart. More crane. So what does this cost? A fair bit. But we are going to go ahead and get that one built. So we're going to start officially mining iron. So we've got iron and marble. So we'll get that production going before we move into any others. I will accept you guys in. You're going to make some great miners, so thank you for that. Although we could devote another monk. Yes, there we go. Your streets are crowded with villagers of all kind. New content available to unlock. Common path lively. Okay. Polished stone surplus for beer. Neighboring villagers want to trade a surplus of beer gifted by the monks they are tending to. Monks are well into their alcohol in this game. The folks are in desperate need of polished stone. Accumulate 75 in storage for 50 beer. I'm going to say no. We are on a minus with labor at the moment. So let's work on the labor path a little bit then. So we're going to need the hedge and the market splendor package. So we are going to work on upping the beauty on this. We're going to free build this a little bit. And we're going to see if there's anything nice that we can get. Uh, we don't want the fountain 
stuff here. So I'm going to slow it down and we're going to work on potentially getting a nicer market. We can squeeze a few things in. So let's go. I know there's paths there, so we're going to get... I don't want to ruin the natural paths that are there. I know it sounds a bit silly, but... Go you. There's a small, small things you can get in anyway. I think we'll get like some provisioning barrels to the side. Maybe some more. We'll get them like in between these guys. And then we'll also get decorative part for the monument, a weather vane. Needs to be attached, apparently. We won't do that one. A little wood shed out the back of this one as well by the barrels. And then maybe a tree there. Let's go with that. We'll start just by building a couple of things. Just build that out. That should... There you go. So beautification and labor splendor. You do gain a little bit from doing that. And then we should be able to eliminate this. Um, monastery, obviously, will be doing that as well. I think we can also do the same over here. So I'm actually going to go into the residential painting here. And I'm going to remove this whole section here. We can go a bit more to the side. I'm also going to remove that little bit off the back there. And we are going to go in and do a bit of a free build over here as well, just to kind of make them a little bit happier. I reckon I could squeeze a couple of benches on the edge of these market stalls as well. That'll look quite nice. Let's go like that. And then we'll maybe get in a nice banner as well. This does give a little bit of a splendor for these guys. So let's go something like that. Uh, we don't have the gold. Of course we don't. We will do shortly. Okay, we have a courier approaching as well, so we'll work with those. They seem to run straight through the fences, which is unfortunate. What I'm going to do is, because of this pathway, let's delete out a couple of these, because I think they walk through there, just to make it a little little bit better. Let's see what they want as well. Grand Grandois Marquis. I don't know if I said that right. The elders feel your village is almost ready to host a trading fair. However, they are uneasy to receive visitors with such a market. They would like you to improve its appearance. A few colourful tents wouldn't hurt business, would it? Reach five labor splendor with market. Okay, and that will give us... So we're, we are going to do that. Improve the market. Well, we're doing that right now, actually, ironically. So let's see where we're at with that one once it's done. How is the splendor on this one? So it wants, it wants us to reach five labor splendor, which is this one. It's going to go plus three, it says. So I think we're going to hit that. Let's see. And the monk office has been completed as well, which is awesome. So we are now going to go into a nun dorm. I want the same one and we're going to rotate. Is that... That's not the one. We went to minor, didn't we? And then we're going to slap a minor one on there. Boom. And we are going to devote female villagers to that one. So we're going to have two monks, two nuns, which should be pretty cool. And uh, yeah, we'll go from there. Berry planter and herb planter on the monastery garden. And build a monastery that has monos monostatic scriptorium. Well. Uh, monostatic scriptorium. No problem. We'll probably have to... Uh, rustic tower for this. How do we want this? Off the back of there, maybe? Yeah, let's go with that. I think that's all we need for that one anyway. So let's go. No work is required. Perfect. And what does that do? That makes manuscripts. That's the next trader. All right, market improved. That worked out just nicely. So we got those in and only a minus one on the labor rating. Now we're going to need to improve that a little bit more though. So we're going to need to maybe get a little bit the other stuff. And I'm tempted to um, just actually go in. I know it's a bit naughty, but if we do this, it might remove these houses. But that does mean I can continue on to making the market better. So let's go something like that. Let's see if that does do anything there. And I'm going to obviously free build a little bit better here. So we're going to make this a little bit nicer. There we go. We've got no gold. I've put in a couple of flagpoles and stuff there. And I, I'm not sure if those houses will disappear. I don't know how it works. So we could always just obviously destroy the building. But for the time being, we'll leave it. I just wanted to get this market to kind of be a little bit happier. Beautification. I don't know if it does anything to the splendor now. Splendor, you just need to actually do more anyway. All right, let's look at resources. How are we looking? Meat is pretty rubbish. How's our mine coming along too? So we obviously need the 200 for the blacksmith here as well. We've got this. He's just kind of waiting. He has smelted some iron here. Did we Did we have a place for the iron? Uh, so it's got room in the building for storage at first anyway. 50 pieces before it goes into there. And then we've got our mine ready. So we just need to grab two people in. Not sure what else we need to do. I think they're just finishing off the crane and the building over here. 
But that should be all we need there. There we go. And we've also got certain things done now. So we've got our iron miners on the go. We've also got the... We're actually in minus. We've got iron smelters ready to rumble. I will get more people in there eventually. But I think we need to stop buying in tools now. Or, or maybe chill out on on this because we're gonna we're gonna run out of money here so bread i want more to sell berries we're gonna we're gonna stop messing with that one and i'm gonna reduce the tools down there so we'll let that continue on now the tower has completed here a little bit so we've built monastery and we've got four monastics reach population of four monastics we need the monastery garden i don't even know if i'm saying that correctly but we're gonna go monastery monastic garden here we just need herb planters and berries. Produces berries. Oh, okay. This is clutch. Oh, my God. Okay, we're going to have a whole berry farm out here. We'll start with something like that. What else do we need? Because you haven't constructed requires, so maybe we need a small side thing on this. So we probably just need minor quarters as well for this one. So, first monastery. I don't know. I think we'll have... I almost don't want to attach it there. Maybe at the back there. That'd be nice. Or we go longer onto the side here. That would be cool as well. So we're going to do that, actually. So let's get that going. And I guess they'll just kind of grow that for us. That looks like a cool building, though. I'm very happy with that. But yeah, it's just that garden now. So we'll start getting berries from that, too. That's going to be awesome. Let's look at this. Upkeep. 81 taxes 109 and territory upkeep 20 so we're actually okay it's just trade that's causing us issues buying that in so if we get the tools going we should be all right i just need these guys to actually buy some bread off me you know there we go we've got a courier approaching as well how are you guys doing I feel like it says i'm missing something here maybe a car there's a decoration there decorations we've got those guys i don't know we'll go four of each so we've got a bit and that means we'll have foragers on the berries that's awesome so that should be a new storage that's gonna look really cool i like it so far looking nice and then we can obviously build on this one as well so i think coins are looking really really uh, okay at the moment i know that we're spending lots and we're doing it let's grab these guys in as well and let's check in on the soldiers let's see if they are healing up nicely they are perfect mostly trained so this means now we're going to be able to go out and do some decent missions. So let's have a look. We've got hunt vermins. We don't want it very easy. We're going to go hunt vermins for easy. And we're going to see how well a couple of these could do. Because we could do multiple, right? Fully trained. Fully trained. Extreme. I want them to obviously not get injured as much. So we're going to do that one as well. We'll send those out on a mission. So yeah, it looked like that room has helped the healing for these guys as well. And we are able to then build on our fence a little bit more because of this. We do have the hedges we can do as well. And I think that's going to be ugly. I need to line this up perfectly. I think I've got it. There we go. So we're going to go up to here. And let's just leave the fence there for now then. And I'm also going to go into a hedge. Get a bit of a hedge around this over here. We've got a nice space now that looks so much better. Let's separate this out. Small stone wall. Maybe we want a small stone wall. Maybe around the church. This church isn't going to grow much bigger, so I'm probably going to do that. And then what we'll do is go into this and we will free build. And what I want is the archway here. So I'm going to get an archway on this bit. They kind of go through. And then we'll have that. So that goes into the building estate. Just with a little bit of a fence around there. And then I'll do the... I'll probably do hedges around this one. So I, I did have plans to make this one quite grand over here. So we'll we'll leave enough space to do so. And we'll just kind of go... I think the problem is they do run through it. And it's quite annoying. But they'll be out of the way soon, I guess. Do something like that. There we go. And we'll have a bit of a hedge that goes around that one as well. Looks quite neat. Villager path blocked. Uh, villager path blocked. What is the problem here? There we go. Right. We'll build those in. And in that time, we have severely increased gold. I think we're finally selling the bread off, which is fantastic. But yeah, there we go. We fixed the berries. We're going to be good on that. And that, that might even be something we can start then looking at berry brew and making berry brew once that kicks in. So I actually built herbs. 
Okay, so we did herb planters. I, I did that completely wrong. So I'm going to go into the parts list here. We're going to destroy out... I don't think... Which one is it? That one there. So we don't want that one. Popped this one up. That needs to be normal berries. I'm happy to have the herbs anyway. No problem. There we go. You built a monastery. Advice has been completed. So that's great. I'm going to actually go in and allow the uh, the change here. So we're going to click that one. And we're going to go back into berries here. I'm going to get this place. So we'll have three of each. I think that's fine. Hey, they're actually walking through this because we got it right on the path too. That looks nice. I, I like that. Very, very cool. This looks so strange now how bare it is though, doesn't it? We're still collecting a good amount of wood and planks as well. Maybe it's time to sell planks to be honest so let's go into the trade again then let's go into our planks because i think i stopped and we can make some money here because we have a lot to spare so let's sell let's say above i don't know 150 for now that's half the amount so that's perfect now i'm gonna guess you can get some kind of mine on the go here we're not getting that much from this so we're not going to need many we are smelting into iron bars which is awesome and we do have the gold now to get in the blacksmith, so we are going to work on that as well. I'm going to start producing our own tools. Alright, I'm going into my progression book here. I'm going to go into labour, and I'm going to look into, see if there is a better splendors package here. Um, I don't think there is, so we're going to have to work with what we've got over here. Now, I want to try and get the marketplace looking a little bit better. So I want a couple of uh, roofed stables over here. So I think I'm going to go to the side. We're going to have one there. I know the paths are there. I don't think we need any more market stalls, so I'm going to do that. I'm also going to do a little bit closer to this house. They're not going to be the happiest. Let's go with that to start with. I'm hoping that does take us out of this. We're good on the thingy here, so the kingdom one. We've got plenty more that we can do. Uh, military fort splendor, we can look at that as well. Uh, Renown, we need to go into 20 for that one as well, but I don't think there's anything we need. We can do a second edict if we unlock that. That's one of these, right? Upkeep of production building parts is increased by 50%. Refund 50% of tools after construction for parts. We're all the way into the lively. I'm not going to get into that yet. We do one at a time, right? And we could unlock the decent decorative, actually. There's going to be a nice new amount of decorative. Oh, wow. Yeah, there really is a lot that we can we can do on this. So I'm going to actually start to look at some of these then. Let's see what we have. So elegant balustrade, elegant post. Oh, hey. Increased desirability. How do these look then? So, right. I think I'll start with just some nice trees. So let's go. Boom. Build one of those. 47 each though. We've got to be careful. This is going to cost us a fortune. Square pruned hedge. How do you look? I think this house right on its lonesome needs a nice pruned hedge on the edge of its house here. 45. Oh, that just got... No! Damn it, that just got rid of my uh, my house there. Alright, be careful that when it's red then. I think maybe... Let's get one in for these guys then. Nice pruned hedge or two on the side. It's going to cost us a fortune though. There we go. Town is bustling on this area though, absolutely falling in love with this, and we are producing a good amount of stuff now. So I think we have herbs, but we're going to need a storage spot for these herbs now, and I don't think we have anything. So I'll tell you what, let's put herbs into there as well, and we can get another transporter in there. That should be fine. Happiness is looking okay. The only reason they're down mainly is because of tax. The food and that seems to be okay, so I think we are fine. Just going to look at this at the moment. It looks like they are now completely cleared of this area, which is fab. So I'm going to go ahead and remove this. Slowly but surely, these zones will decrease. We're looking good. I think we made a fair bit on trade. Yeah, 101 on trade there. Wheat is looking fab now as well. So we may even be able to go into another brewer as well. All right, so based on that then, so we've got good hops and good wheat. I'm going to grab another brewer in and we are going to plonk this one right next to the other so we're gonna have double breweries here 200 gold so we can't do that just yet all right i'm gonna continue to build a treasury on this one as well so i don't like how we don't have a good amount of size here so 
I'm going to go boom, and then we're going to bring this one round. And I'm going to decorate the gardens in the middle. So we're going to go boom, boom. And those are all going to be treasury right there. So we're going to hit build on those. And I think we're going to mandate something when we can. We're going to need to promote one when we can. Okay, no gold at the moment either. So we're going to need to promote to get them into the toolmaker, which is now finished. So we have no commoners. I'll probably just get one in there to start. And I think we can afford it right now. So we're going to go straight back in. Open the list. And welcome to your new job, my friend. Before we do that, we're going to check this. The elders are looking for wheat to help a nearby village. We have almost got enough. And then a plus 10. We're actually back in the plus with those. So I'm going to say no because I don't want to use it. And then we're going to get that one commoner into the blacksmith here. And we're going to start making our tools finally. Okay, that house did come back as well. So let's go back into our decoration and see if there's something I can do for them. So let's go common decorations here. It was actually masterpiece. No, we're not going in that one. Common decorations. Let's try towering pruned hedge. So that will delete it. Let's get it right on that corner. Nice pruned hedge for them there. When that builds up is what we'll do. It'll look really nice. And then we're going to need no more space. Let me see what's going on here. So I'm going to remove the residential a little bit further. And I'm not going to allow any further than that house. And we're going to wall off this area. I'm going to get rid of that as well. There's a nice bit of bore there. But I think we're ticking over on those just enough. Gives us enough area for the monastery there to actually be of use. There we have it, though. We have four manuscripts in. So if we go into the trade routes here, it's actually 20 that we need to get going with these guys. And we have fully unlocked all the traders then as well. Um, we've actually got the mystery tax. We've made 258 with Davenport at the moment. So we're not going to be there quite yet. But uh, if we wanted to, we could up our fisheries. Now I have a question for you guys based on the fishers. Will... Will we be able to fish the same spot multiple times? I know I've got two already in there. I want to get a third one, but I don't know how well how well it kind of works. So I don't want to... I don't know. I think it does... It is okay, but let's see. We'll get another fish port right here, and we'll see if it is kind of affected. Because we could do a ramp in that up. Berries are really good now, so I'm very happy with that. We will look at berry brew probably in the next episode as well. How are these guys looking? Okay, so I'm actually going to reduce this little section down here. That's a little bit better. And then we've got a nice wheat area. I need that to be cut down eventually as well. All right, treasury is being built in here as well. So you can imagine what I'm going for here. So we've got a nice amount of gold storage. I am going to decorate the inside of this one as well. So I am going to go kind of free build really. And, and just when we've got the nice decorations, we're going to... Actually, we can do it now. How much do these cost? They're pretty cheap. 45 for the elegant bench. I'm not sure we're, we're, that, we're that wealthy at the moment. But you see how we could like do... I know this ha has no effect on our housing. I know that. That's not the point. Definitely not the point. I want the center of this to be something that you kind of imagine from a manor house that you'd go and visit. You'd have like some nice monuments and stuff around the side. We'll start with maybe that because we've got that seating area in the middle they all seem to fish the same spot so i'm gonna assume that it is okay they're both bringing in fish look so that's good we'll get another fishery then so three there we'll try and boost that up a little bit i've noticed the bread now because of sales is going down it might just be that we're consuming a lot more that definitely did add a good amount of splendor by having those horse carts there so that's awesome i do maybe want to get another one here we can work from the same thing it's very cool i love it I'll be honest with you, it's really, really cool. As long as we're in a surplus with that one, I, I do want to do more with it, but I don't want to spend too much gold doing it. Let's have a look at what's complaining here. So, bakery is complaining. So, flour then. Okay, do we need a second miller? I'm going to get another one in then. So, let's start to uh, produce more. The bread has slowly worked down as our population has gone up. So, we are on 150 on the population. So, we need to factor that in with everything we're doing. I think we're definitely safe with everything that is going on, though. And we are officially now producing our own tools. So that is super cool. Very expensive. 
Uh, one coal and one iron makes one tool, so you can imagine. But we're never going to have to buy them in again now, so that's going to be fab. Lots more people coming in as well. And I think we could even go as far as upping our monastery even more on the berry, berry side of things as well. So we could go with another nun. So we've got five to five here. I reckon we could get that in. So we've got one more spot. So maybe one more berry, berry place here. If we click that one, you can, in fact, just go straight in and go berries. And we can grab that one this way. This is like a little berry garden. Have that all the way tight to it. As long as that green arrow is accessible, we should be fine. So we can get that one built as well. All right, let's get these guys in and let's look at how we can increase the splendor for these guys as well. So we're going to need to do that. Oh, you can put a fountain in the wall. Look at this. Little fountain off to the side. 190 coins. I'm doing it. Well worth it. Look at that. That's so cool. I really want to get this up. I don't know how we're going to do that with Splendor. Uh, there's a clergy Splendor package. I think that might be the one. Yeah, it's going to be. So let's have a look at the Splendor package then. Is that in a different building? Okay, I found it. So there's a rustic decorations of statues and things that we can get. So, tell you what, let's get one statue to the side of this fountain here. Boom. And we'll also get in. I don't want... We could do a bit of a graveyard out the back. That could be cool. You know what? Yeah, I like it. Let's go one. So we want a little bit of a gap just to assume that people are lay there, right? So let's go like this. What about these... But a rustic. I can pretend the cross is also a grave. I'm thinking. Alright, we're going to build that. I've got a little wooden cross out front as well that needs to be built. Just to kind of look at that. That will get rid of this huge minus. We'll get a little bit of a penalty boost there as well. So we're looking good on most things. But guys, that is going to be where we end this one out. So we've ended on minus one coins for the thingy. Once we have 200, we will be building that. But we've gone right, right into the old tool production here with our iron mine, which is fab. And we've gone all out on this church. So uh, yeah, berries and herbs being produced. It looks fab. Absolutely loving it. So I'm quite happy with that. But as always, guys, please do smash that thumbs up for me. If you are new around here, do consider subbing to the channel as well. It's a massive help as we continue to try and grow. If you have any tips on the game, please pop them down below as well and all things builder on the channel so if you want to check out any of the other series they are all on there as well as always guys do take it easy i will see you in the next one